Hello, Shikar here. We are on part number 18 of Doom 2016. I believe we are actually getting close to the end. Uh, let's see how... Let's see where we end up getting with this. But overall, I hope everybody's having a good day. In the libraries of the Lazarus Labs, you learned an artifact that can sever the connection between the two worlds known as the Crucible. If you can retrieve the Crucible, you can close the well and shut down the Argent Tower permanently from inside hell. That sounds fun. Oh, that's because I wasn't actually... S okay. Okay, so I need six for you. Five for you. Six for you. Oh, three. Okay, um... Challenges kill a lost soul with another lost soul. I hate that one. Um, perform a death from above glory kill on a baron of hell and kill 20 demons while using power ups. Okay. Baron of hell, which one were you again? Monsters, Baron of Hell. Ah, you. Okay. DFA, you. Keep going, I guess. Uh, see wherever. Oh, clearly into the mouth. I'm so used to Doom Eternal, all I have to do is basically just. Uh, shoot a sticky grenade inside their mouth and I can... they're immediately staggered. You know, a portable flashlight would make this a lot happy... a lot better of a place right now. Because, you know, being able to see things...
Alright, so up uh, pretty straightforward so far. downsides to switching between Doom Normal and Doom Eternal without adjusting the controller scheme. Because the controls, keyboard and mouse, are completely different. The glory kill on Eternal, you use E. The glory kill on Doom 2016 is F. Consistency people would make this thing a lot easier. Because I'm too lazy to fix that problem myself. Uh, that being said, behind me. So... Oh! I got the trick shot! Okay, I did not expect to actually be able to get that. Okay, I totally did not ex expect to get that. Okay, what was the t kill 20 demons while you okay while using power ups? So there's a secret to get to. The question is, how do I get to it? Can't exactly interact with you. Can't butt you. I mean, I can butt you, it just doesn't do anything. that didn't do anything, but I feel better for doing it. Still can't do anything here. Still can't punch you open. Maybe if I go back, the door will magically be open. Nope. Nope, can't go through that tiny little crack. Can't go through that. Or that. So 
So what exactly did you open? You opened something. What did you open up? What did you do? Oh, maybe something down there. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, artifacts. Uh, I already heard that. Okay, got you. I wonder if that's the same heart that I destroyed at towards the end of Doom Eternal, because I am getting relatively close towards that. When I upload those videos, I'm not sure yet. I'll probably wait till it's complete, then upload the series after Porsche. I actually also have Alex to upload as well, so I'll kind of pick which one I should upload next. Some of them may not turn out very well, but hopefully it will be enjoyable. But seriously, it, it only looks like there's two entryways into that. It could be possible I'm coming around again in the... Oh, uh, from the look of that, it looks like I might come around again, so just move forward, deal with it later. Except... Um... This looks like it's a dead end. Oh, here we are. Found you. Oh, I hear something. That's still closed. question is, are you open this time? Of course you're not. Because that would make my life, you know, easy. And I can't jump over that. There has to be some kind of switch that I'm missing here. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Doesn't look like there's anything in here either that would do anything. And what was in here I already picked up. So... over here maybe? No, I don't see anything. Definitely don't see anything.
You know what? I'm gonna let it kill me. Let's see if I can try to find other things that I can kill with that haste. Probably go in with, I don't know, the chain gun. That'll probably do way more damage much quicker. Oh, there we are. Okay, siege mode. And that's all of you. Siege mode. This modification adds an argon gas ionizer to the weapon. When initiated, the launch chamber is vacuum sealed as argon gas is ionized until it forms plasma. When the argon has been fully ionized, the chamber is open, the plasma beam is ejected from the weapon. Due to the precise nature of this modification's operation, safety valves prevent the weapon from discharging until the argon is fully ionized. The operator must also remain stationary during charging due to the volatile nature of freeing electrons from gas. Upon successful release, the plasma beam will penetrate multiple targets and produce a concussive blast at the final point of impact. Uh, 20. Oh, I got seven, so let, let's just let you kill me and I keep doing this. Come on, kill me. Thank you. Easy way to get this done. Find a checkpoint that has the item you're looking for and repeat until you complete the challenge. It's kind of cheating, but I do not care. Ah, uh, chain gun. Grabbing him. Uh, health. It's not much, but. It adds to it. I didn't even... Oh. I guess it was still going. I was paying wrong attention to the wrong portion of my screen. I got a heavy puppy behind me. This might take a bit. This might take a bit. There we go. Okay.
Where'd you go? Damn. Oh, kill me. I still got, what, eight more of you to kill? Eight more. Then I can actually take it seriously. Oh, I was at 19. I need just one more. Damn. Okay, so we can actually take this seriously, pick up everything on the way, and get going. So was that everything? On this side, yes. But there is that side. Uh, now I have I have to make sure I do a DFA from Baron of Hell. Well, this should be interesting. I 
pinky. Save that for Baron Pell. There you are. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, so th three is is limit. One, two, three. Okay. Damn it. Well, I know the limit. I have to do it twice than a normal, which will cause it to stagger. Problem is, I need to be higher. Hopefully, I'll have another. Ch um shot at this. BFG 9000 model. Keen guy. That's the power up. I suppose that's everything, so you know what? Just go ahead and grab it and go in. Updated. This map more or less does um, play 
like Doom VFR. So there's the secret. Grab everything. Okay, so if I'm right, I need to basically go where that armor plate is. Yep, just like so. Let me guess. Trap is gonna go off. Yep. At the last minute, this wall reveals itself. Just like so. I walk in, that crushes down. And the door is unlocked. Because congratulations, the thing inside's dead. There's no way it would have escaped at all. Okay, so I need to do something to get that to open. First down here. Great. Oh. How many did that use up? Three. So I can only do that once. Joy. Checkpoint. Okay. So that means I can go in here. Grab you. So there must be at least one more level because I can do one more set of ammo. Uh, codex entry, pinky number two. Pinkies will charge once their prey is detected using a collateral or er, cortical bone plate that covers their face as a battering ram. 
They accelerate quickly but have limited control while charging. Their inability to stop quickly or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges or into hard surfaces, stunning them. At close range, the pinky has a significant bite which can be used which it will use to fend off attackers. They have limited visual perception, rely primarily on pheromone detection to locate enemies. The thinner skin of their flanks does not offer much protection and should be considered a point of weakness. Gnawing carcasses of pinkies have been or gnawed carcasses of pinkies have been extracted from portals, suggesting that they are considered a delicacy in hell. Oh lovely. How lovely. Uh, Titan's Realm. After the disaster, disastrous project Lazarus manned expedition, uh, it was decided to avoid the until environment was okay. MTC twenty one forty five slash one twenty eight. It was decided to avoid Kadinger Sanctum until the environment was more conductive to human exploration. The second project Lazarus manned. Expedition MTC 2148-177 was changed to a new location, an area referred to as the Great Step. The Korox tablets describe this area in detail. Through the Titan's Realm and down, down to the Great Step, where the trophies of victory are kept through the ages. Their false idols banish the wasteland, their towers fallen, their foundations grounded dust, their hollowed halls kept empty as crucial reminders cruel reminders that civilization shall fall before the assertion of the Great Ones. Wait, that one's locked? I thought I had them all by now. Oh well. I didn't mean to do that one.
Okay, rune. Oh, wrong one. There we are. Uh, in flight mobility. Provides a significant increase in control. Uh, okay, don't really care too much. Um, demons become more glory kill friendly due to high damage resistance when staggered. Oh, that would be nice. Firing your standard weapon will not cost ammo when you have 100 armor or more. Okay, that that might take a bit of effort. That's okay. the armor. Wait, what? What just happened? There we go. Okay, there's something up there. Just gonna wait for you to come back down. So that looks like that was all. I'm curious how I get back to that. go. Here we go. There it is. Secret found. Classic map doom. Okay, that was awesome. Rich get richer. Nice. Okay, so just basically one last secret. that I come back for, I believe, so let's just keep going forward. Oh, another fight. Hopefully I come across one of those things. Uh, rune. Harder to stagger. A 
and the trigger is grabbing that key, so let's go ahead and pick up everything I can. And I guess I will open up with the chain gun. Spectre. The Spectre is the unfortunate result of a misguided attempt to genetically modify the Pinky. Several Pinkies were gathered during the First Lazarus Project tethering operation MTC to 2146-351. Four of the captured beasts were viscerated. While three of the experiments resulted in the deaths of the subject, one resulted in a Pinky with limited sight psionic abilities. In an attempt to increase its ocular capacity, the optic nerve in the cacodemon was transplanted into the pinky. After the operation, the animal was returned to its enclosure to recover. It is believed that the beast was accidentally released from its pen when its keeper, thinking the invisible specter had escaped, opened the gate. Several months after the first Spectre went missing, the second tethering operation MTC 2147-016 captured two fertile specimens. Presumably, the original Spectre wandered into the Lazarus Wave testing facility and was teleported back to hell by a summoner. It is unknown how the Spectre managed to breed, but the, pro but the psionic trait has carried to the offspring. Interesting. It is. There we go. Checkpoint. Decoded entry, a pilgrimage. I'm assuming this was probably the one I was supposed to have read. If you're... Okay. If you're one of the lucky disciples who will get to experience a pilgrimage to hell, there are some preparations you must make for your journey. You must make sure all your affairs are in order before leaving, donate all your belongings, excluding any security control materials to a tier 2 advocate, and record any final logs you may wish to make. Your savings and assets will be used to fund additional UAC research. 
For the expedition itself, you may wish to consider his uh, sedation. Okay. Advocates can get overwhelmed during their transition, and a medically administered balancing agent can help ease the excitement. Lastly, prepare your mind for the wonders you will experience. Seeing the remains of a titan is an experience that will buckle the knees of most steadfast advocate of the most steadfast advocate. If you're lucky, you may even get to see a live titan. If you do, you must record the sighting immediately and hand your storage devices to a scout bot for safety. This is, it is not known if any titans still inhabit the great step. So if you get the chance to be a sacrifice to one of these massive beasts, take it. Um, no. Yeah, um, no. Can't make me. Not going to happen. talking about me. Yeah, it's a secret. That's the last secret. That is everything. So I just basically have to go to the goal. And there's probably going to be one last fight here. Oh, that's Berserk. That's the last one. So it's 
It's basically just walking to the exit now. Oh look, there's the exit. Uh, codex entry, Olivia Pierce, number three. Before joining UAC, Olivia was open to discussion about her endeavors and beliefs. She was known to have been an avid world traveler, served a two-year tour of duty with the Global Science Council, and even spent some time serving as a missionary in South a Serving as a missionary in South America, which she noted was a spiritual but frivolous pilgrimage. Since moving to Mars, she has become a recluse, cutting off friends and family to focus on her secretive work of the Lazarus Project. She is rarely seen outside the lab and no longer attends board meetings or any UAC press events. Past colleagues of Olivia have noted that this behavior may just mean that she has something spectacular to reveal in the near future. Right. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and call it here. It's been an hour and 18 seconds. So, I'd say overall, pretty good done. Pretty good job, though part of it was experience from playing the VR version. Um, that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I hope you all have, are staying safe out there, taking care, uh, whatever it is that you need to do, just staying safe is more important. So with all that, this is Shigar signing off. I hope you all have a good day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow. So goodbye for now.